Shalom children of God. Welcome back to Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study. This week's Jewish terminology word is, Rosh Hodesh. This is a Hebrew word pronounced, Rosh Hodesh, which literally means head of the month. Commonly known as the celebration of the new moon. What a wonderful Jewish terminology word for the week. I have learned from some, this blog and Bible study is and has aided in the bridging of gaps and understand for many different people. This is such a warm compliment. I honestly am so very touched. When I get messages or email or comments from others telling me that we have helped correct misconceptions about the Jewish faith, life and people, I honestly am so very grateful to Hashem Almighty for His grace and heart. I think sometimes misconceptions exist out of ignorance and fear. There will always be things about others we don't know or understand. And let's be honest, things that we might not agree with about others. But, as I see it, how someone else chooses to live isn't my taste then I just do need to participate. If it is illegal that that is another topic in itself, but if it is against Torah and God, then I chose to not be involved. But, if they are perhaps more spiritual or more observant than I, I don't need nor feel the want to be negative towards them. I wish others were truly more Torah and Jewish positive open-minded as far as not being jealous or hateful out of ignorance. Some who are evil will use our differences in order to divide us and try and cause us to hate and be evil towards each other's for their own disgusting purposes. I do pray that through this blog and Bible study we continue to be a light that shines out all that evil darkness that can exist in those who aim to harm God's people at different levels sin faith and walks of life everywhere. I pray that every minute I am able to learn and share this learning with others. More and more people come to know that God has created us all for a beautiful and divine purpose. We are all more alike than different. We are all created from God and should try for God's sake to reach Him through actually loving each other based on High's word. In my opinion part of loving each other according to the word of HaShem is learning more and more about our faith in Judaism, Torah and Ha. Shem. To learn that this blog is doing just that. Is such an amazing honor, my heart is overflowing with gratefulness to HaShem. Hashtag thank you. Ha. Shem. So to share another wonderful Jewish concept and tradition in faith or observance. Rush Hodesh falls on the first day of each month on the Jewish calendar, which is lunar based. In synagogue, there are additional morning prayers and Torah reading. At some synagogues, congregants gather outside after Mari's service that ends the Shabbat and recite the Kiddush Lavana, Sanctification of the Moon prayer. Apparently, feminists have adopted Rush Hodesh as their own and have developed rituals and reading for the holiday because, like menstruation, it follows a monthly cycle. I personally do not support any form of toxic feminism that seems to want to uproot or distort Torah and Jewish tradition and or the core family unit which is Hashem, husband, wife, and children, but it is true and a part of an accurate definition which I received from my personally owned the JPS Dictionary of Jewish Words by Joyce Eisenberg and Ellen Skinnick 2001 Copyright First Edition. In order to aid in the learning of this week's Jewish terminology word of the week I pulled from several authentic Jewish sources. Resources and sources are hyperlinked for credit. Again the goal is to learn, educate it, and share the beauty of Jewishness with others who are interested and willing to learn. Let's build bridges. Not burn them. Amen and Amen. What is a Mariv service? The third of the three daily prayers, called the Mariv, or Arvit, prayer, is recited after dark, the first two are recited in the morning and afternoon. This prayer was instituted by our patriarch Jacob. When to pray the Mariv? From Sight Hikochavim, the appearance of three medium stars in the night sky, until dawn. For the exact times of Tzayt Hikochabim and dawn in your location, click here. How to pray the Mariv? Wash your hands and open your prayer book. Sitter a Jewish prayer book. Mariv opens with the recitation of the Shema and the blessings of Shema, dash two before and two after, followed by the 19 blessing Amida, silent prayer, recited standing while facing Jerusalem. It concludes with the Eleinu Hem. What is Kiddush Lavana? Kiddush Lavana, the sanctification of the moon is performed once a month, during the first part of the lunar cycle. Set outdoors at night, Kiddush Lavana is a meaningful ritual highlighted by a Hebrew blessing, selections of psalms and other prayers. It is often followed by joyous dancing. There are many forms of Jewish joyous dance, but I found a video I thought was awesome so I wanted to share it. Avancina, Jewish Dance 
What and how to pray Kiddush Lavana? The formulation of the prayer is as follows. We stand under the open sky, facing east and looking into our prayer books. We begin by reciting the first six verses of Psalm 148. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him on high. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all bright stars. Praise Him, highest heavens. And you waters that are above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For it was He who commanded that they be created. He made them endure forever. Establishing an order that shall never change. Giving praise to GD for the moon, sun, stars and heavens, for He commanded it and they were created. Next, we place our feet together. Look at the moon and recite the blessing. He gave them a set law and time, so that they should not alter their task. Blessed are you, El Road, who renews the months. After lifting our heels three times, we then address the moon, so to speak. Blessed is your maker, blessed is he who formed you, just as I leap toward you but cannot touch you, so may all my enemies be unable to touch me harmfully. We emphasize these ideas by repeating this paragraph and some of the subsequent stanzas three times. Each time we begin, we lift ourselves to stand on our toes three times. Next we address the deeper significance of the lunar cycle. David, king of Israel, is living and enduring. The kingdom of David is compared to the moon. Though it may have lost much of its former radiance, it will be restored to its glory in messianic times. Since we just finished speaking of our enemies, we make a point of wishing peace to those who are peaceful. We turn to three of our fellow congregants and wish them peace, Shalom Alechem, and they wish us peace in return, Alechem Shalom. Inspired by the joy of greeting the Divine Presence, we exclaim three times, May this be a good sign and good fortune for us and the entire Jewish nation. This is also why we greet those around us, since joy is always greater when shared with others. We then recite two verses from the Song of Songs, 2-8-9. to Hark! My beloved! There he comes! Leaping over mountains! Bounding over hills. My beloved is like a gazelle. Or like a young stag. There he stands behind our wall. Gazing through the window. Peering through the lattice. That described Gigi looking through the windows, peering through the crevices, just as the light of the moon does on a clear night. Gigi's omnipresent protection is described again in the next psalm we say, 121. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The El Road will guard your going and coming from now and for all time. We then repeat King David's words, Psalm 150, Praise G.D. in his holiness, praise him in the firmament of his strength, let every being that has a soul praise the L.R.D. This is followed by a passage from the Talmud that describes the sanctification of the moon, it was taught in the academy of Rabbi Yishmael, even if Israel merited no other privilege than to greet their father in heaven once a month, it would be sufficient for them. Next is a Psalm, 67, that was recited in the Holy Temple, describing how G.D.'s miracles will cause the nations to recognize and praise him. The nations will extol you, the nations will rejoice and sing for joy, for you will judge the peoples justly and guide the nations on the earth forever. We conclude with the Elenu prayer, in which we say that the nations of the world bow to vanity and nothingness. But we bend our knee, bow down, and offer praise before the Supreme King of Kings. It is our duty to praise the Master of all to acclaim the greatness of the One who forms all creation. For God did not make us like the nations of other lands, and did not make us the same as other families of the earth. God did not place us in the same situations as others, and our destiny is not the same as anyone else's. And we bend our knees and bow down and give thanks before the ruler. The ruler of rulers, the Holy One, blessed is God. The one who spread out the heavens and made the foundations of the earth. And whose precious dwelling is in the heavens above and whose powerful presence is in the highest heights. Adonai is our God, there is none else. Our God is truth, and nothing else compares. As it is written in your Torah, and you shall know today, and take to heart, that Adonai is the only God, in the heavens above and on earth below. There is no other. Therefore we put our hope in you, Adonai our God. 
to soon see the glory of your strength to remove all idols from the earth and to completely cut off all false gods to repair the world your holy empire and for all living flesh to call your name and for all the wicked of the earth to turn to you may all the world's inhabitants recognize and know that too you every knee must bend and every tongue must swear loyalty before you adonai our god may all bow down and give honor to your precious name and may all take upon themselves the yoke of your rule and may you reign over them soon and forever and always because all rule is yours alone and you will rule in honor forever and ever as it is written in your torah adonai will reign forever and ever and it is said adonai will be ruler over the whole earth and on that day god will be one and god's name will be one this prayer emphasizes that our blessing on the moon is in no way a form of idol worship if there is a quorum of 10 men the mourners kaddish is recited once we are done we dance as at a wedding celebration wow what a rich and loving tradition we have i love being able to share with others the greatness and love of the jewish way of life i think sometimes others may fear what they don't know or understand bridges are being built i pray these bridges lead to a better tomorrow and peace for all of us and israel o say shalom prayer shabbat songs o say shalom bim ramav hu ya say shalom aleinu deal kol yisrael bim ramen submitted by polycari on april 13th 2015 english translation he who makes peace he who makes peace in his high places may he bring peace upon us and upon all israel and say ye amen may he bring peace may he bring peace peace upon us and on all of israel may he bring peace may he bring peace peace upon us and on all of israel and let us all say amen hashtag thank you ha shem this week's word was selected at random from my personally owned the jps dictionary of jewish words by joyce eisenberg and ellen skinnick 2001 copyright first edition i'm not paid to endorse nor affiliated this book is from my personal library i purchased this book from thriftbooks.com you can get your own personal low price copy using the link below thriftbook.com remember to keep up to date with us via our website at marie speaks gods brace that live for all our blog and social media links season 5 of the bible study has returned woo woo what to expect this lesson this lesson we begin the second sermon of moses of blessed memory speech to the nation of israel before his death and the nation of israel carrying on into the promised land This lesson we will review the portion Deuteronomy, Ekev, Devarim 8 and 9, with a reading of the Haftorah, Isaiah 49, 14 through 51 to 3. The next portion of the Bible study will be read Deuteronomy 11, 26 to 16, 17, Haftorah, Isaiah 54, 11 to 55 to 5. For those who would like to read ahead, I believe this Bible study's main concepts are: 1. No Jew can pick or choose among the commandments of Torah. 2. All blessings of Torah to Hashem are contingent on the full and whole acceptance and a personal application and observance of the Torah to Hashem. 3. And not lastly every word the proceeds from our king's mouth is a lawful order to life. This is what we who love Hashem choose to live on and obey. Please feel free to catch up on the Bible studies and other videos we have uploaded on YouTube. And Rumble. Shalom children of God. Welcome back to Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study. This week's Jewish terminology word is nida pronounced nida. This is a Hebrew word regarding the Jewish laws relating to menstruation and martial relations. Also see to Harav Hamishpacha. So like, heart, rumble, subscribe and or share for next class. Until next time, with God's beautiful mercy and grace we will see each other soon. With love. Marie. Disclaimer. Sources and resources have been hyperlinked in blog for an easier reading during podcast.